A formula used for calculating velocity is v equals one half a t squared. What is a in expressed in terms of v and t? So they want us to get an equation to turn it around. So it says something like a equals, and then we have our variables v and t. So we're solving in term for a in terms of the other variables. How do we do that? Well, let me rewrite it up here v equals one half a t squared so now I'm solving for a even though I won't get a numerical value so the first thing I'll do is multiply both sides by two because I want that one half on the other side so I multiply everything by one half so one half on this side the one half will cancel out one half times this side and I get one half v equals a t squared right? So now I want to solve for a, so I divide both sides by t squared. So I divide this side by t squared, right? And I divide this side by t squared. t squared divided by itself cancels out. And a now equals 1 half, right? v over t squared. So how do we deal with this? Because we don't really have that over here. Well, um, you should think about what this means. I'm going to write it over here. We have one half of v divided by t squared. And this might be a little hard to see at first or play with, but what I like to do when I'm, I'm dealing with a fraction over a number like this is I rewrite it like this. Let me show you what I do. This is my picture of my head. One half v over t squared. I want to get this t squared out of the denominator. So really what I'm going to do is multiply by one over t squared and do that in the numerator as well. And this makes everything a lot nicer because these cancel out. And now I can deal with this. What is one over t squared times one half v? Well, v is the only thing in the numerator here. So this is going to end up equaling, we write that, this is going to end up equaling v over two times t squared, right? And all I've done is rewrite this a little differently. So I get choice four v over 2t squared. And perhaps you don't like that that way I did it right there. So going back to this step, right, where I divide both sides by t squared, I can also think of it as this. Let me re rewrite this. 1 half v equals a t squared. Well, first of all, I might simplify the left side and write v over 2 equals a t squared. And now what I can do is multiply both sides by 1 over t squared, right? And what this does, on the right side, it cancels out the t squared. But on the left side, we have v times 1, which is v, over t squared times 2, or 2t two squared under v, just like that. So that's another way of looking at it. Either way, I get to the same answer, um, but perhaps you prefer this method as well. All right, thanks.